Cotton, a natural fiber which is under human use for the last thousands of years. Even today, its use in textile products across the world is top priority. For Pakistan, cotton holds the status of white gold for the reason that cotton and its products constitute more than 60% of our export earnings. Pakistan is ranked fourth among the cotton producing countries of the world. Every year, around 1,000 cotton ginning factories of Pakistan produce around 14 million bales of cotton from seed cotton. These cotton bales provide raw material for the textile industry of the country, which not only meets the domestic needs, but is also used to earn foreign exchange by exporting textile products. Ginning industry holds pivotal position in textile sector. Despite having exceptional inherent qualities, Pakistani cotton fails to retain its natural attributes, ultimately hinders the production of quality textile products. Lack of efficiency in the ginning machinery is resulting in energy losses. Inefficient ginning processes also damage the quality of cotton fiber. Besides this, no efforts have been made for improving the working conditions and the environment-friendly disposal of the waste produced by ginning factories. Keeping these issues in mind, WWF Pakistan in 2012 initiated the project for sustainable cotton production in cotton ginning sector of Pakistan under Switch Asia program with the financial assistance of European Union under which improvements are being made in the ginning sector within the available resources. Under this project, efforts are being made in the following areas. Provision of assistance and creating an enabling environment for the procurement and supply of better cotton, so that the production of better cotton at farm level is encouraged. Increase in productivity and decrease in costs. Practical measures for efficient energy consumption. Promotion of decent work in the sector so that not only the environmental pollution is abated, but the improved working conditions are also available for the workers associated with the ginning industry. Under this project, by 2015, at least 500 factories of Pakistan will recognize the importance of sustainable cotton production and consumption. This project will result in fostering relationships between better cotton, farmers and ginners for the production of improved quality, clean cotton. As a result of comprehensive research and survey of technical, social and environmental problems, the recommendations have been practically implemented in the selected ginning SMEs. So far, more than 45 ginning SMEs have implemented these recommendations. In the light of the results of adopting better ginning practices in these factories, a comprehensive guideline has also been prepared which will act as a guiding document for the ginning sector of Pakistan. The staff of the project along with the support of various technical experts arranges training workshops for gin owners and the workers so that the ginners, by adopting these low-cost modifications, can bring improvement in quality, productivity and environmental efficiency. Production of better cotton starts at farm level. Due to lack of adequate training, the cotton pickers include immature cotton balls, trash and other contaminations in the seed cotton which later on creates problems in ginning process. As cotton pickers often do not cover their heads and do not use cotton cloth for collecting cotton, human hair and other impurities get mixed in the seed cotton. It is worth noting that a tiny plastic thread can result in the loss of millions of rupees. 
At most of the gins, seed cotton was examined merely on the basis of its physical appearance through manual observations. Now small laboratories were established in the factories where GOT machine, moisture meter and small weighing scales are being used. After measuring the weight by means of small weighing scale, its proper record is maintained which helps in better assessment of the quality of seed cotton. Many of the ginners did not pay attention to the seed cotton storage platforms. As a result, rainwater affected the cotton quality and due to absence of any mechanism for removal of trash and contamination from the seed cotton, these undesirable foreign matter used to get mixed with the seed cotton. Ginners were asked to raise the platforms to an appropriate level with slopes on the sides which prevents the loss of cotton quality. Now all undesirable material is separated from seed cotton before its ginning. Drums have been placed on the platforms so that the undesirable matter can be separated from seed cotton which helps in the production of cleaner cotton. Weak, rusted, old and worn out joints and bends in suction and delivery pipes resulted in the leakage of air. Consequently, additional energy was used to attain the required air pressure. All suction and delivery lines were either replaced or repaired, which not only resulted in increased productivity but also in reduced energy consumption. A large amount of electrical energy is required to transport seed cotton through suction pipes. Instead of suction pipes, belt conveyor system has been introduced for the delivery of seed cotton which consumes far less amount of electrical energy. For better ginning, stone catcher needs to be well designed and in perfect condition so that unwanted material can be prevented from entering the next level. The quality and productivity of cotton fibre is directly dependent upon the saws, ribs and quality of space blocks. Use of standardized saws, ribs and space block was made mandatory which has resulted in improved productivity and quality. Using standardized tools for the inspection and fitting of machine parts has resulted in saving time, quality maintenance and mechanical accuracy. Use of standardized saws resulted in reduction of short fiber index, preservation of fiber length and better cleaning of fiber from seed, ultimately leading to increase in GOT, which is at least 50 grams per 40 kilograms. Introducing conveyor belt system at the backside of gin stand for reusing overflow processed cotton has resulted in reduction of energy consumption and improvement in quality and productivity. Proper pressure meters have been introduced instead of weighing cotton bales based on load of motor or ampere. Recording all problems and causes on standard sheet of daily press report was made mandatory so that the breakdown time can be reduced and production time can be increased. Lack of proper technical information was resulting in higher energy consumption and higher per bale cost. Improper startup and shutdown procedures, poor performance of motors, higher power factor, running of machinery on low or high voltages, imbalanced belts and pulleys exerted extraordinary load on electrical motors. The pulleys and motors were carefully examined during the ginning season as well as during the maintenance period. All these factors contributed towards the excessive use of electricity energy. Now efficient electrical energy consumption has been ensured through adoption of better ginning practices. Electric cables were usually hanged on the walls in exposed condition or used to have multiple joints thus hindering the flow of electricity and uniformity of voltage. All the electric wiring in ginning halls were concealed by means of cable trays so that any accidents can be prevented and uniform provision of electricity is ensured. Usually the control of capacitors is not automatic in factories. As a result, they have to pay MDI surcharge in electricity bills. Installation of auto relay system is ensuring optimum supply and efficient consumption of electricity. Ampere meters were used to measure amperes and volts which did not provide required information. 
Now appropriate decisions are being taken by using digital power analyzers for measuring all the parameters such as KVAR, KVA, kilowatt and power factor. By adopting the recommendations of Spring Project, Jinners have been successful in reducing their electricity expenses up to 12%. A large amount of gin waste is produced during the ginning process, which is usually used in brick kilns and the resultant gases add to environmental pollution. Under Spring Project, different ways are being explored for using this waste material in an environment-friendly way. Up till now, this material has been successfully used in making cardboard and growing mushrooms. With the help of trainings given in Spring Project, the local communities are improving their income. Ginners can also earn a large amount of foreign exchange by exporting this ginning waste. In ginning factories, cotton dust and noise of machines are among the most important issues pertaining to occupational safety and health. The cotton dust gets stuck to the lungs of workers by means of breathing and results in causing a disease called bisinosis. The high noise of machines not only impairs the hearing ability of workers but also causes irritation and headaches. Lower level of illumination in ginning halls pose risk of work-related hazards and accidents. Due to lack of protective covers around moving parts of machinery in the ginning halls, every year many workers suffered physical injuries and even the loss of their body parts. And that also included electric shocks from naked wires. Awareness regarding first aid was lacking among gin workers and they were not trained to protect themselves against work-related accidents. As per the recommendations of Spring Team, the Jinners have relocated the beaters outside the ginning hall which has helped in reducing the cotton dust and noise level in ginning halls. Now the Jinners are providing dust masks and air muffs to their workers for protecting themselves from cotton dust and noise of machines. Considering the health and safety of workers, safety railings and protective covers have also been installed which has provided safe working environment for the workers. Spring team also trained the gin workers on the issues related to occupational safety and health so that they can protect themselves against potential hazards. International brands and retailers such as H&M, Levi's and Ikea etc. are promoting the production of sustainable cotton at farm level which helps in reducing the footprint of cotton production. Many leading brands and retailers are also supporting sustainable cotton sourcing and it is hoped that in coming days, Pakistan's textile industry will experience an increase in the demand of sustainable cotton products. Under Switch Asia Spring Project of WWF Pakistan, Jinners have not only succeeded in improving their productivity and quality, but there is a significant improvement in the working conditions. The concept of resource efficiency through adoption of better ginning practices is spreading throughout the ginning industry of Pakistan, which is an indication of a sustainable future of this industry. Moreover, all technical information and recommendations have been compiled in easy-to-learn guides and booklets. In coming days, the scope of the project will be extended to 500 ginning SMEs. If gin owners intend to implement these recommendations in their factories, they can contact Spring Team on the following numbers. SAP Management Office, Bahawalpur, 4A, Sawar Muhammad Hussain Shaheed Road, Model Town A, Bahawalpur. 
telephone number 062-288-314-288-3909-2882-119. Switch Asia Project Office Sakhar, House Number 120B, Street Number 4, Friends Housing Society, Akhubat Nagar, Airport Road, Sakhar. Telephone number 071 580-4674 Switch Asia Project Office Rahim Yar Khan House Number 64A Usman Block Abbasia Town Rahim Yar Khan Telephone Number 068 5900 733